Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to get the measures of dispersion including range, mean absolute deviation, variance, and standard deviation of an ungrouped data. So here is our example. The RD rates of a sample of 7 faculty members at school ABC are 145, 180, 170, 150, 140, 175, and 165. So let us find the range, mean absolute deviation, variance, and standard deviation. So pag nagko-compute kayo ng uh, measures of dispersion ng ungrouped data, ang gawin nyo guys is ilagay nyo siya sa table para hindi kayo malito sa um, mga values. So ang unang column ninyo ay x. So ang laman ng x is yung scores na binigay. So yung data. So I have 7 scores. So 145, nalagay natin dyan. 180, okay, 170, 150, 140, 175, and 165. And then the next column would be the absolute value of x minus mean. And then the last column is the absolute value of x minus mean squared. Or yung squared nitong column na to. Okay, so kukumpitin daw natin si range. So unahin na natin yung range dahil madali lang ang formula ng range. Range is equal to highest score minus lowest score. So hanapin nyo lang yung highest score na given sa set of data and then the lowest score and then subtract nyo lang yun dun sa um, highest score. So ang highest score in this given set of data is 180. Okay, so 180 minus... So, the lowest score given in this data is 140. So, meaning the range is 40. So, 180 minus 140 is 40. So, meron na tayong range. Ganun lang kasimple yung range. Highest score minus lowest score. Kahit hindi na kayo mag-table, manasagot nyo yung range. Okay? Pero for the mean absolute deviation, variance, and standard deviation, guys, mas maganda kung meron kayong table para mas um, madaling intindihin yung mga values. Okay, so let us get the mean absolute deviation. But, kailangan itong dalawang columns na to in getting the mean absolute deviation, variance, and standard deviation. So, ang gagawin natin, hindi kasi makukuha yung values dito dahil kailangan siya ng mean. Ang meron lang tayo is x. Kasi yung x is the given set of data. So, ito yung x, yung scores. Okay, wala tayong mean. So, bago natin makompute yung mga values dito sa table na to, we will get the mean. So, ang mean naman is very simple. It is the summation of x for ungrouped data over n. Ibig sabihin, summation of all the scores divided by the number of scores. So, i-add daw yung lahat ng x and then divided by the total number of scores. So, ang given natin dito ay 7. Therefore, ang n ay 7. So, i-add natin siya using calculator, yung x. So, I will have 145 plus 180 plus 170 plus 150 plus 140 plus 175 plus 165. So, meaning ang summation ng x or summation of all the scores is 1,125. So, 1,125 divided by 7. So, let us divide it by 7. So, ang ating mean or ang average score is... 160.71. So, kunin natin yung hanggang hundreds place. So, 160.71. Okay? Now na meron na tayong mean, so meron na tayong masasalpak dyan sa value ng mean para sa computation ng column sex, um, column um, x minus mean at saka x minus mean squared. Okay? So, unahin natin yung 145 na x. So, ito muna. Ayan. Ito muna. Si 145. So, let us have 145 daw x minus 160.71. Yung nakuha natin na mean. Okay? So, ang sagot is negative 15.71. Pero, ang gagawin natin is we will take the absolute value of the um, computed value. So, ibig sabihin, kahit negative pa yan, guys, gagawin nyo siyang positive pagdating sa table. So, we will write 15.71. So, 15.71 and then, wag nyo i-clear yung calculate, diretso nyo siya sa squared. So, 246.80. Okay. And then, the next x would be 180. So, tapos na tayo sa 145. So, doon na tayo sa second. 
180 minus, yun at yun yung mean na gagamitin nyo, yun na compute natin kanina. So, the answer is 19.29. So, 19.29 and then, diretso nyo sa squared to get the x minus mean squared. So, 372.10. So, 372.10. Okay? Then, the next one is 170 minus 160.71. So, the answer is 9.29. And then, the square of 9.29 is 86.30. So, 86.30. And then, gawin natin siya hanggang sa dulo. So, 150 minus 160.71. So, again, this is negative pero absolute value tayo. So, 10.71. And then, squared is... 114.70 Okay And then the next one would be 140 minus 160.71 So 20.71 And then squared nyan is 428.90 428.90 Last two so, let's have 175 as our x minus 160.71. So, 14.29. And then, squared of this is 204.20. And then, the last one is 165, yung x, minus um, 160.71. So, 4.29. And then, ay, shock, sorry. And then, squared of this is 18.40. So, 18.40. Okay. To get the mean absolute deviation, so, ang formula ng mean absolute deviation is the summation of the absolute value of x minus mean all over n. Ibig sabihin nito, guys, ito, itong column na to ay para kay mean absolute deviation and then this column would be used for the computation of variance and standard deviation. Okay? So, MAD or mean absolute deviation is equal to the summation of the column of the absolute value of x minus mean. So, meaning, i-add natin to lahat divided by 7. Okay? So, I will put all the scores in the column, um, second column. So, 15.71 plus 19.29 plus 9.29 plus 10.71 plus 20.71 plus ulit, ay, nasa na ba ako? 10, ayan, tapos na ako sa 10, nalito ako. Okay, so 20, 14.29 plus 4.29. Okay, so the summation is 94.29. So, 94.29 divided by N. So, ang N natin dito is 7. Okay? So, ang MAD natin is, so, divided by 7. So, kunin natin yung ano. So, the answer is 13.47. So, our mean absolute deviation is this one. 13.47. Okay? Letter C. Let us get the variance. So, ang formula naman for variance is the summation of x minus mean or absolute value of x minus mean squared over n minus 1. Okay? So, this column naman ang gagamitin natin or i-add natin and then divide it by n minus 1. Okay? So, i-add na natin yung column na yan, yung third column. So, 246.80 plus 372.10 plus 86.30 ay shocks ulit 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 246.80 plus 372.10 plus 86.3 or 30 plus 114.70 plus 428.90 plus 204.20 and then the last one is 18.40 Okay, so ang summation ng x minus mean squared is 1471.4. So, 1471.4 over. So, this one guys, may minus 1 siya. So, 7 minus 1 is 6. 
So, i-divide natin siya sa 6. So, ang variance natin is, so, divide this by 6. So, the final answer for the variance is 245.23. So, 245.23. Okay? And then, the last one is standard deviation. Ang standard deviation, guys, very simple lang siya. Square root yan ng variance. Ang formula kasi ng standard, devi ng standard deviation ay square root of summation of the absolute value of x minus mean quantity squared over n minus 1, which is the variance. So, ang gagawin nyo lang to get the standard deviation is i-square root nyo yung nakuha nyo sa variance. So, meaning, i-square root nitong 245.23. That would be the standard deviation. So, square root nyan, square root of our answer, ayan, so equals, so the final answer is 15.66. Okay, so standard deviation is 15.66. That's it. So, that is how you get the measures of dispersion of an ungrouped data.